you might remember my uh, fan heater that I bought a few weeks ago. Uh, I wanted a 500 watt heater just for this small workshop. But currently I've got a big 1000 or 2000 uh, watt switchable uh, big fan heater and uh, as I explained in the last video the heat it's even you know it's it's too intense you just need something in a small workshop like this that is uh, much less powerful um, the the current one it's either too hot the thermostat isn't turning on so it goes cold then it blasts hot air out it's quite a it's quite unpleasant I don't like heat or hot air particularly but I don't mind a little bit of background warmth in the sun in the uh, in the winter months when it can get very cold out here so that last one the temperature was adjustable but it wouldn't go any lower than 25 degrees <laughs> you know I don't want this 25 degrees in here in the summer never mind the winter so it was completely useless so it went back uh, whilst I was browsing Amazon again I came across uh, this one again 500 watts uh, this one has a timer function 1 to 12 hours auto power off uh, it's got uh, two speeds I didn't know it had two speeds, so we'll have to look at that in a moment. Uh, but the important thing for me is the temperature can be adjusted between 15 and 32 degrees at C. So 15 is what I want it on absolute maximum in the workshop in the winter. Um, so we ordered this and it came next day and I have used it this time. We've actually tried it and uh, used it over the last couple of weeks I've only put it back in the box just for presentation um, but funnily enough over the last couple of weeks they've been you know how you get those annoying eBay uh, sorry uh, YouTube adverts that pop up saying wow a rocket scientist has developed this uh, super energy saving heater and it costs pennies to run and uh, the electricity companies want it banned or you know that sort of crap advert <laughs> well the one I've seen in the last few days <laughs> is actually for one of these. Uh, I can't remember what um, what name it was, but it's exactly this. And I've just typed um, this into Google, and a page I think it was the Daily uh, Telegraph. Oh, um, yeah, it's the Derby Telegraph. Uh, .co.uk it says the Amazon the Amazon heater that packs a punch that costs pennies to run and is only £14.70 I don't know when that's from oh, actually it's September well this was on uh, Amazon at uh, 27 quid so I don't know where they're getting that from uh, it's 500 watts so it's hardly pennies to run is it um, just one of those sensationalism <laughs> type adverts utter cobblers I mean it talks about all sorts of technology and how some clever guy you know invented it just ridiculous it's just tap made in China but it works this one actually works so what we've got is a uh, what looks like a, a PC uh, fan cooling fan in the back you've got the standard UK plug and an on off switch now, strangely this plug will rotate or the whole unit will rotate so you can have it that way up and if you press and hold that button you can actually turn the plug so it could be mounted plugged in that way and press it again and back so that way and hang on which way around and you can have it completely the other way you can have it hanging down like that as well which probably makes more sense uh, now I should have thought about this and grabbed an extension loop so you can plug it in course I haven't got and that's not very convenient okay so what we'll do is we will move uh, the camera and we'll move over to the other bench I'm going to unplug I don't think it will reach actually I'll unplug it and plug it back in over here okay so we have a look we turn it on with the switch you'll get the little blue dots and uh, we can now turn it on with the standby button unfortunately it comes on on 30 every time now if you want to lower this you can continuously press that let's go down to 15 you'll hear a little relay click and that's when it's producing the power 
Now currently in here it's about, oh, it's a lot hotter than 15. So this does take a few minutes to uh, figure out the temperature. Now it's at about two speeds and I've just noticed that fan symbol. I wonder if we can press both of these. No, that's already on low. Sorry, it was on, already on high. And then high. Yeah, so high and low speeds. I didn't realise that. So that's quite good. Uh, it does work quite nicely. It does chuck out quite a nice amount of uh, heat. Um, if you press the off button, it has a 60 second cooldown uh, time period before it goes off, so it's not stressing the uh, ceramic element there. And I found it to be uh, very good. 500 watts, it would certainly save uh, money compared to a 1000 watt uh, one being uh, on too long. Um, yeah, so that's now cool and that will be turning off in about 30 seconds. Uh, now unfortunately I've just gone on to um, Amazon and this is no longer... I didn't hear that. Yes, thank you. Please this is again. not listed anymore. But I'm sure there are other similar uh, devices out there. Um, oh God, this film's going to be absolutely rubbish. So yeah, that works uh, perfectly for me. Nice controllable amount of heat. Uh, and I can put it in there on its side or hanging down, which is quite useful. Two speeds, which I didn't realize. It's always been on the higher speed um, and works well. I haven't used the, the timer function. I don't need it to turn on and off. Uh, sorry, to turn off when uh, I'm uh, somewhere else I only use it when I'm in here so yeah there we go uh, I'd say I'd recommend that uh, when and if it becomes available again <laughs>